Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlan King, we're off for more of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. And in the last episode, we headed north up to Snowhead and we made it to the Gorn Village. On the way, we got a heart piece by defeating a couple of the Dongos in a grotto. And this place apparently is colder than cold. And I see areas facing an ice age. <laughs> okay! Let it rip, buddy! I'll see you later! Pfft. I honestly do not remember. I saw that last episode and I was like, what the hell happened there? I have no idea. I've never seen this before. This is strange. Also, why did he do that upper slope as well? Completely defined the laws of physics. That wasn't even a slippery surface, I don't believe. Oh, hello there, owl. And also that island is off in the distance. Are you going to tell me how to get over there? Are you going to carry me over there or something? That'd be awesome. Hoot hoot. We meet again, fairy child. Have my stone statues been of help? Well, it seems you may have the strength to change the fate of this land as I had expected. I'm guessing you remember me because I obviously used the song even though I haven't used it this three day cycle. But you did say that we would be friends across time and space, so I'm guessing that you are just able to, again, break the laws of physics. <laughs> but the road ahead is even more challenging. Many trials await you. Please watch over these gorons around you. Their land is doomed to be smothered in snow and ice forever. It will become a land where no living thing can survive. Then why are you here? You're a bird. You, you, you're weak to ice. <laughs> Freeze your wings and you're pretty much grounded. Without courage and determination, you will surely collapse from extreme conditions. Ah, well, you know me. I am filled with determination. But if that courage and determination burns bright within you, then that's another story. You are the hope of Gorin's internal. Will you proceed? Well, yeah. If I don't, we're dead anyway. Hoot hoot. You are a child of many strengths. Well, perhaps you do have enough strength to change the fate of this mountain after all. I shall take to the air now, flying toward that shrine across the way, so follow behind me. Do not be daunted by appearances. Instead, let your feelings guide you, and the true path shall open before you. Are you ready? Follow behind me. Okay. I don't know why you can't just pick me up with your talons and just bring me over there, but... Hang on a minute, he's dropping feathers. Okay. Invisible platforms. They must be so iced over that they're blending in and reflecting the environment, perhaps? That's my only excuse. Other than that, it's dark magic. Nailed it. Hoo hoot. I have certainly been assured of your courage and determination. From here on, you must not be fooled by appearances. You must rely on your feelings. Now, enter the shrine. Something that will aid you in your quest lies within. Use that item when returning from here. Okay, then. What be if in here, then, good sir? What is in this shrine? I saw that boulder pop in. Just blow open all these boulders. I'm pretty sure we can blow these up with these extra powerful explosives of Terminian uh, engineering. There was nothing underneath there. There's a chest! You can take that. There's no map in here, by the way. Purple rupee? I mean, we were already maxed out, but we might need the money. We have this chest in the middle. This must be the item that the owl was on about. What is a Seeker-related item doing in the mountains of a foreign land? I don't actually understand the logic of this being here. This is modelled after the Sheikah Eye. You've got the lens of truth. Gaze through it to see mysteries that are invisible to the naked eye. Like the platforms we were jumping across without the lens of truth. So we're able to get back without the owl. But, again, why is that here? Why is this in Terminal? Unless these Gorons, I mean, I guess it's the shape of the Gorons Ruby as well, technically. But why is that here? I never understood this. This is clearly a Sheikah item, unless someone's, like, maybe the Yiga moved over here, perhaps? I don't know. Again, I'm bringing up the Yiga because of Breath of the Wild, but they weren't technically a thing until all other games, because the timeline's very ambiguous and messy. Seeing the truth drains magic power, so press the button or tap the icon again to stop looking and using up magic. 
We're going to pop that down here, I believe it goes. Obviously, I'll fix it in between videos. Let's pop that there. So I can uh, activate it whenever at the press of a button. I hear a skull tiller. Ah, there's a shadow here. There you are, you fool. Screw you. Get knocked on the wall. Red rupee. Very nice. Invisible chest as well. All sorted. Pick up my arrow back. Anything else in here? Doesn't seem to be the case. Did you know if you spam it like this, you won't use up any magic? As annoying as that sounds. Yep, here are the ice blocks that we couldn't see. It was definitely dark magic. And the Sheikah uh, eye of... Um, allows us to see. Including ghosts, apparently. I didn't realise that this Sheikah... Sylph scope built in. That's pretty bad. Lone Peak Shrine ahead. Watch your step. It's a long way down. We can see this ghost here. And we actually can see his drop shadow. Even though we can't see him. C can it be? Are you able to see me? If you truly can see me, then follow behind me. Okay. We're following a dead dude. And it literally just went night, so that was perfect for bumping into a ghost. Um, wait up there, buddy. So, you may realise I'm chasing him down without wearing the uh, Lens of Truth. Uh, that's because I can see his drop shadow. You don't actually need it active until he stops. Every time he stops, you've got to turn on the Lens of Truth so that you can actually see and talk to him. How did I not hit him there? He, cl he clanged off my f sword somehow. I don't remember these Tektites being this weird. They're breaking on me, buddy. Yeah, I saw you, and I wasn't going to have it. Right, so we stop there. Slap on the lens of truth. He floats away. We've got to keep doing that every place we go. So let's just keep following. That's all we can do at this point. He's down there. Ow. You know what? Screw this. I'm going down here. Oh yeah, power slide. And there's the chest underneath the ice there. That's what's on the map that we can't get to. Where is this guy? Did I overtake him? I just overtook him. Wow. Oh god, I kicked him and I bounced off him that way. I know I could do that, but... I swung for the other one and I bounced off him. We're still going. Where is he leading me to? Buddy? I don't know what you want me for. Where's he going? Um. You're a little bit high off the ground then. That. 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 Uh. My people need me apparently. Um. Where's. Hang on a minute. Oh, okay. So which way do we want to go? Pretty much straight up the middle, so it's a left, right, just a left, right. Oh no, a left, right up, excuse me. I couldn't see that from the angle I was looking at. Alrighty then, let's uh, ice cavern up this shiz. Oh, unless I land in the icy water and do not somehow get frostbite still. Or pneumonia. Uh, okay, I can't climb up there either. Okay, I know I can climb up some of these. I think just ain't doing it. Unless they increase the height ever so slightly, so you have to actually do it properly and not cheese it. That would make sense to me. There we are. Right, so where is this? So, you can technically do this without the Lens of Truth, but you wouldn't know exactly where you're going. So, we might as well just leave it on and do what we need to do. So, it's a... Right. If we mash B, we can climb a little bit faster. Oh, I can hear him. Yeah, mash B and climb faster. This is me mashing. This is me not mashing. You can hear the difference. There's some Gorons up here. Oh, boy. Um, I can't do anything about that. Sorry, buddy. Uh, hello. This is the grave where the Goron hero rests. 
I came here to put up the Great Heroes Memorial. But the return route has been blocked by snow. I can't get back to Goron Village. I was going to say roll off the edge if you got enough speed, but that's quite a risky move. That's even worse. My brother has been frozen solid from the cold. The way things are looking, I'll be frozen too. Oh, at times like this makes me wish we had some of the hot spring water I found when digging the hero's grave. So there is hot spring water in the mountains. You guys just blocked it off. When you know that it's super cold. I don't think you thought this through. But the hot spring is now covered by the gravestone. I can't push a gravestone that big by myself. Well, I guess that's what they meant by the Goron saying. It's no use crying over spilt works. <laughs> I mean, if you were desperate enough, you could probably muster up the power. Adrenaline can be really ridiculous. It gives you superhuman strength at some point. Superhuman speed if you're on the flight spectrum. It is written in letters you have never seen before. Apparently we've never seen Gorn writing. The soaring one said the one who could be who could see me would be arriving soon. It seems like it turned out to be true. I'm Damoni the Third. The blood of the proud Goron heroes runs in me. It feels strange for me to say, but when I was alive, I was a renowned warrior and veteran. Yes, when I was alive. You see this big old gash down me belly? That is a reminder of how I fell. Alas, I am now dead. I was fine until I marched off the snowhead by myself, hoping I could drive off a demon. It had been wreaking havoc on Goron Village. Then the blizzard at the snowhead blew me into the valley. Spiked. And now here I am. Just the tip. How infuriating! As I am, I can only watch this Goron Village is slowly buried in ice. I may have died, but I cannot rest. So, you can use magic, right? The Soaring One also told me that you were able to use it. I do have a full bar, but I don't know any healing spells, mate. I'm sorry. And I don't know if a fairy can... make a body. You've kind of already lost yours. They can patch up my body, but they can't, you know... I beg you, please bring me back the life of your magic. Does anyone have a phoenix down in the house? Maybe a one-up mushroom? I don't know if they work if you don't have a body. If we took the bleach trap, we could use a Giga Eye, but I don't know any Salt Reapers in this land. If it is beyond your power, then I beg you to do this for me instead. Heal my sorrows. Any way that you can do it will suffice. Please, heal my sorrows. I think you need a therapist. Um. Um. Heal. Heal. Will this do? Medicine only works on the living. It will do me little good. Please, just heal my sorrows. You need not bring me back to life. You sure you won't be disappointed? I know you can do this for me as you are right now. I beg of you, heal my sorrows. Hmm... The only thing I have that's healing related. Oh, what a soothing melody. My sorrows are melting away into that soul. Ah. Uh...
Not what I was planning. I leave my undying feelings with you. The deeds I accomplished while living are carved on my grave. You should read it. I've got the Goron mask. This mask contains the spirit of a proud Goron hero. Notice from the basic Goron mask from Ocarina of Time, it's missing the head strap. Wear the mask to inhabit the body of a Goron. Take it off to return to normal. For the Goron village, they have asked for your assistance. So... The Song of Healing doesn't just heal people's sorrows. It turns them into masks. Again, must I remind you how this happened? We got turned into this by dark magic. And we look like the Deco Butler's son. Hmm. Deku Butler's son helps out the Deku Royal family. Spirit of a Goron hero to help out the Gorons. This seems to be ringing a bell, and I'm guessing that you wouldn't have died if it wasn't for, you know, Skull Kid's interference. Seems like the Song of Healing's the perfect counter for the curses of Majora's Mask. Let's slap it on. Well, we've gained a bit of weight. We are not able to jump in this form. We are a heavy boy. And very slow to boot. Except we can learn some tricks from the dear old deceased that we have kind of fused bodies with. And we don't exactly have his physique. But would anyone else notice that? The Goron hero Damani the Third rests here. In honor of a great hero, this memorial is inscribed with the knowledge of our fallen friend. Will you read the knowledge imparted by the hero? Techniques for action! Oh, chosen Goron hero, your power to lift objects without effort is mightier than the strength of any other. And your heart is strong too, as it is filled with compassion that is kinder than any other. Goron heroes use A and movement so that they may curl up and roll wherever that they may need to go. Of course, almost any Goron can do that, but we have a bit of a special kick to it. If Gorons who possess magic power roll swiftly enough, spikes will emerge from their bodies that they can mow down enemies. This is known as the fastest method of travel in this game. And yes, we still haven't recovered a Pona yet. Water is disastrous for Goron heroes, for they sink like stones and are rendered motionless in the deep for wear. And what it was saying about strength, yes, we can break boulders with our fists, we can even push boulders that are too heavy. We've basically got the silver gauntlets worth of level. The powerful punch that Goron heroes unleash is feared by all. By repeatedly punching, Goron heroes will deal out a barrage of punches. After using, after using the action to curl up, a Goron can jump and land with a quaking impact, so it can, so mighty it can flatten enemies. So let's see these attacks. We've got a free hit combo, as per usual. A punch, a punch, and a whack with the bottom. We can curl by pressing the A button. You'll have to hold it for the uh, um, N64 version. You see that red field? If it maxes out, we have this. And our magic power gets eaten pretty quick. Also, if we press B. Boom! Goron pounding. And you can also do this. If you uncurl in the middle of a pound, you just go for a drop. But if you do it right, you can technically... Um, grab ledges, if you're good enough. But Goron legend, uh, Gorons have pretty high... Hard time scrapping ledges. There's the hot water that we were told about. Let's go get a ball and surprise the Gorons from coming back from the grave. Now, it will cool after about, I think, a couple of minutes, so you've got to be quick when you have this. Even if you're not in the mountains, it will cool in, on, in a few minutes. You! Yeah, no! You're not the great Dalmarni, are you? Then just whose grave was I making, brother? Did you come back to life because it was so warm beneath your grave? There used to be a hot spring bubbling beneath your grave, oh great Dalmoni. If I had some of that hot spring water, I might be able to fall out my first and brother. I mean, I've got a couple of bottles, do you want a drink? <laughs> also, we have a gut. We're not got the physique of 
Dom on here, and yet everyone thinks that we're him. No joke. Let's do the good old deed. Water melts water. Hmm? What have I been doing? Oh, were you were right, brother. You were frozen, but the great Dalmoni saved you. Great Dalmoni? What's with you? Are you half asleep? Do you hear this guy? The great Dalmoni died not too long ago. He's lying in his grave. <laughs> Dalmoni! It took you a while. I'm standing right in between you two. I was shocked too, but somehow it seems the great Dalmoni isn't dead, brother. Really, brother? With this, a star of hope appears over Golden Village. Great Dalmoni, please do something about the blizzard blowing in from Snowhead. Isn't that how he died? Seriously, he gets injured, he comes out from the grave, and you're expecting him to go try again? Wow. They've really put a lot of faith in this guy. I can see why he wanted to heal his sorrows and live up to his name. I don't know if he actually just got outplayed, or if he is actually, well, not to put it bluntly, a failure, but... You know, Skull Kid don't play fair, so I can't really blame him. I want to grab two bottles of this stuff. If you don't have two bottles, you're probably going to have to make another trip, but um, I'll tell you what you want to do if you only have one bottle. So, we've got two bottles. We want to get out of here extremely quick. So, the first thing that I'm going to do with this uh, spring water, um, if you've only got one bottle, save it for the next one I'm going to do. So, that means that you can still follow on the route pretty well. I want to head in here. Without talking to these guys, I want to quickly slap this on the half. Hopefully that is close enough. If you do touch it, you will freeze once again. Yep, that worked. I don't know how that worked for that big block, but there we go. Gabora! Huh? Oh, you've done me a great favor. Now then, this half can finally go to work for me. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to take off this mask and quickly talk to this guy. Gabora, pitch our customers some coffee, quick like. I'm guessing you have some magical powers or something, because you just transformed in front of my face and I'm not even phased. I've seen some shit, man. I'm guessing you didn't have the magic power to deal with that thing, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Now then, let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. Alright, to sharpen your sword, it'll cost you 100 rupees. I'll be ready at sunrise. You'll have to let us hold on to your sword until then. Keep in mind that after you use your new sword 100 times, it will lose its edge and revert back to its original sharpness. So, would you like your sword reforged for 100 rupees? We want to do this! And we won't get it until the start of day two. And you want to do this as early as possible. Thanks for dropping in. Now then, I'm straight off to work. Come back tomorrow morning. I do actually want to pop back in here, but right now I need to go do what um, we were supposed to do first with this spring water before we have tr tr troubles. I need to... Nope, I need to go this way. Okay, I'm surprised that counted. Normally when you keep hopping, you have to keep rebuilding it. Now, I don't want to be rushing too bad here, because if I fall, this could be bad. So, I've just got to ever so lightly roll, and rolling off the sides of this um, is going to be really hard to get back up. This is the one you want to do first if you only have one bottle. The reason being is because there's actually more hot spring water in here. So, if you've only got one bottle, you want to defall this. D4? 4? No, I feel like I just did a uh, a double-double there. And I can't punch these particular rocks. I do actually need explosives. But yes, there's hot spring water here. If you need it, in case you only have one bottle. Uh, no, let's put that on there. Let's put that on there. And let's stop blowing this up. Don't drop the bombs in the water. Because it's, uh, well, water it won't let you blow these up. Might as well check what's in them. But yeah, notice we don't have a sword now. We're swordless, so if we want to attack, we're going to have to find other methods of attack. But we have a couple right now, including a couple of sticks, so it shouldn't be too bad. Also, I just replenished a bit of my money already, so can't complain about that too much. There we are. And since we actually have a method on, you know, pouring out ice, let's go grab yet another bottle. Become a Goron again, because we need to. And grab ourselves another bottle, so that we can actually... Free that the elder in this area. Oh, actually, hang on a second. I just realised I want to pop this on. Is there any hidden chests in here? I don't think there was. Nah, I don't think there was. 
Yeah, funnily enough, you don't actually need the um, Lens of Truth that much. Uh, actually, do I want the Lens of Truth on? I'll swap those around, I think. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, I still heard the tire screeching when, uh, or the wheels spin. Uh, even when I was on the teleport out. Let's free you, good sir! I was actually going for the button for Tattle, but it didn't show up. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, it's already this late! Step aside. I have urgent business to tend to, so I'm too busy to talk. Um, you're not going to get anywhere at that speed, I'm sorry to say, mate. I mean, my god, this guy looks ancient. More ancient than the guys in Twilight Princess, which is, ironically enough, the next game in this part of the timeline. <sighs> oh, you're the Marnie! Are you all supposed to be dead? Am I hallucinating? This dude's got a serious bottom lip. Maybe this is also the doing of Snow Hedge magic power. Hmm. I've been made a fool of. But that's impossible. I refuse to flinch. Even though he's constantly shivering, which is technically a flinch. I should stop being so mean. This guy is trying his best. I need to fix this blasted weather that's plaguing Snowhead. I must save the Gorin village and protect my dear son. There's actually a problem with your son, actually. I don't think you can leave him hanging. So you see, I must insist that you get out of my way this instant. And because we've already gone into um, Goron Village and we did talk to the sun, we trigger this. If you haven't been into Goron Village yet, this wouldn't trigger. So you have to go in there. That's why I did that last episode. What? My son is crying because of me. He misses me. Uh, well, why do you know that? My son misses me. Oh, forgive me, my child. Your father has work to do. Don't worry. Be you a ghost or a figment of my imagination, I no longer care. If you feel pity for my crying son, then please quietly sing my son to sleep with this song I'm about to play on my dwum. If this is the ghost... Of Dalmani, which technically we are, we're a fusion, but you don't know that, he just sees us as Dalmani. We gotta go back because you're taking our place. I mean, Dalmani was a lot more capable than this guy, you could just tell that because this guy can't even move. How is this guy gonna do it? He's basically doing it in futility, and I do feel sorry for him. But it's like, he should go back to his son. We'll take care of it. Good thing we came about. It's the very same melody that was often played for you when you were young. Oh my god. We haven't actually whipped out the uh, the ocarina in this form yet. How does this song go? <sighs> Let me play it once more. How does this song go? Um. Yes, yes, like this. Mate, you need a hot drink. You just can't think at the moment. It's no good! I can only remember the beginning! I'm losing my brains! I'll just teach you the beginning. Do you know what? You want to know how close he was to completing this song? I'll tell you later. We have a full set of drums, one for every note. And he only has the one. Again, I feel bad. You've learnt the lullaby intro. The soothing melody of a thoughtful father. He's trying his best, as I said. It's not that I forgot it. It's just so cold, I can't play very well. Okay. At any rate, I'm counting on you. No matter how long you follow me, it's not going to do you any good. For the sake of my village, for the future of all Gorons, I must go. I am counting on you to take care of my son. Alright, old man. I hope it works out. Fun fact, if he even steps on the slope, he will immediately freeze. 
Oh my god! That's why I don't like going up these slopes. Are you or a mug? You want some fisticuffs? Come on then, buddy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, he actually fled because he got squished. Oh my god, I can barely move. Get up the hill. There we are. Oh my god, he fled and then respawned. Okay, let's get out of here. I think it's time to head back into the village yet again. And we're going to do a Goron Pound of our own because that is how you open the door. Before I head in there though, I'm going to go over this way and talk to this bloke. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing a business with a focus on going clientele, and an that group so makes you a customer. Right now, I've got a special trade-in just for you. I'll give you my biggest bomb bag, regularly priced at a thousand rupees, a number that we can't actually reach. In return, I'll, you'll give me your big bomb bag and just 200 rupees. Damn it, I'm half short. We'll have to come back and grab this another time. I am interested, but I can't pay for it. You don't have enough rupees. God damn it. Also, why would he want a weaker bomb bag just for a bit of money? Doesn't make much sense there to me. We just barely got in. The door was just about shut there. What will the Gorons have to say now that we're here? Don't worry, you're alive. The Goron Elder said you died. Is that a lie, brother? Whatever the case may be, welcome back. Does that incessant crying sound familiar to you? Goron Elder, some won't stop crying. That. Okay, that was weird. Whoa, you're Demoni! You're supposed to be dead! Or is that crying finally getting to me? Or are my eyes playing tricks on me? If this keeps up, I'll really go crazy! Now, people don't even believe we're here. What does this guy have to say down here? I don't think the shopkeeper would actually say anything. We could go check. This store's having trouble getting. Okay, he doesn't say anything new, so this is nothing different. Let's head up and sort this out! Sideburns, are you Demoni? You're supposed to be dead, but you're alive. What have you been doing? Thinking you were dead, the Elder went to sew it on his own. I'm thinking you were commissioning a grave. How do you not know this? But for now, please go to the Gorilda's son. Hurry! Still have a speech on that one. Sorry about that. Oh, Demoni, you're alive! This is wonderful, but there's no time for catching up. If something isn't done right now about that crying. Look at this! The torches that were just lit have gone out! Oh, again with that terrible crying! Wait, you're saying that the crying put out the flames? What? Those sideburns! You're Damoni! You're supposed to be dead, but you're alive! The, the Elder was troubled because he thought you were dead. He was dead. There was a grave being built. Do only half the Gorons know the story? I'm troubled too. The Elder went to Snowhead and hasn't come back. Now his son's so lonely he won't stop crying! All of you are here. <laughs> Obviously wants his dad. If you don't find the Goron Elder and ask him to come back, I'll never be able to sleep. And it just keeps getting colder outside. So cold that we could freeze. Right, let's go sort this out. I'm cold, Danny. Danny, where's my Danny? Where's my Danny? Let's calm you down, buddy. Yeah. That's all. That's the song Daddy always plays for me before I go to sleep. I'll sing the next part. Remember when I said how close he was to actually finishing the song? Two notes he had already played in reverse. God damn it. <laughs> also, no hiccups while trying to sing that point. And yet, when he was trying to talk just moments ago, he was hiccuping like crazy. I will admit, 
That is a sweet cutscene. Oh, it's just like Daddy's right beside me. Thank God. Hang on. Side quest. This was part of the main story. I guess it segues off into a side quest. We played the Goron lullaby at the Goron Shrine and helped the elder the elder's son fall asleep. It also lit up two torches. That's the side quest? The lullaby intro became the Goron lullaby. This lullaby blankets listeners in calm while making eyelids grow heavy. So we have the Sonata of Awakening and the Goron lullaby. They do complete opposite things. Kinda works out. Oh, hang on a minute. Everyone's asleep. There we are, there's the torches. I like how the uh, the notebook had to tell us that before it even happened. But the thing is, I'm actually up to time, and that was not what I was expecting. So I'm just going to smack that, and I'm just going to, you know, uh, head on out, and we're going to continue in the next episode. See you guys then.